today we're going to be doing something really fun. We're going to be unboxing the Lily and Llama tote bag. Now this is one of the items that's on our site um, and it has everything you're going to need um, when you go to the hospital um, to deliver. So as here you can see, it comes in this cute little dust bag. Make sure everything stays nice and clean and organized. Um, just so fun. Um, the presentation itself is just amazing with this bag. Um, so let's get it opened up here. The tote is one that works great for the hospital, um, but it also serves as like an excellent like weekend bag um, and diaper bag, however you want to use it. This is a bag that you're going to have multi-purpose usage for. comes with all of the protective um, lining on it so that when you get it, it's brand new, looks amazing, in perfect condition. So let's go ahead and get open. Um, you're going to notice here on the outside, there are two exterior pockets. Um, those are empty when you get them. That is by design. Um, so just nice to know that you've got some side pockets if you want to organize things um, or if you want to be able to do um, separate items within your bag, maybe a section for baby specific or mom specific, um, that is an option. Okay, let's get on in here. First thing I see, oh, this is so cute. It's just a personalized Lily, Lily and Lama um, thank you card for purchasing their product. Now, um, the gal who started Lily and Lama is just amazing. She was struggling through, you know, the process of getting everything ready to go to go to the hospital. And she spent so much time researching what needs to go in this bag. So she's prepared checklists for you, just some nice to have information, what's included here. And then other things that you might think of um, that are more personal that you need to put together yourself, um, not necessarily come from, you know, a store. Um, things you may have around the house, like a cell phone charger, things like that. Okay, now we get some items. So anybody who's had a kid before knows how amazing these jugs are. You drink so much water during the process that um, I know they give away the freebie ones at the hospital, but these ones are just so much cuter. It has their Lily and Llama logo on it. Um, great thing to keep around the house, especially afterwards, breastfeeding, you know, staying up late at night with the little one. Um, that's really going to come in handy for you. Okay, and next, this is the one thing that is more for the baby, but um, this is a lifesaver for me. Um, you have to have a white noise machine. machine a sound machine and this one is one that's portable that you can take with you so you can have it in the hospital um, you can take it with you when you travel you can have it in the baby's room you can have it in your room wherever you need to kind of block out some of that surrounding noise and give that baby that sense of still being in the womb um, miracle miracle um, okay next we have these little ties, they're so cute. Oh my gosh, they're so adorable. Um, different colors, different designs. Those are just so cute. Okay. This here, it's in a bag. I'm not going to open it up right now, but this is essentially your car seat cover. So this is going to be the thing that goes around your car seat to protect baby from things like wind and sun as you go outside um, to give them the most peaceful environment and to kind of keep them from, you know, we are approaching summer. Eventually we'll get there. Um, this will be really nice for going out and about. This is a nice muslin receiving cloth. Um, again, I don't think I really need to open it. It's pretty self-explanatory, but um, these are just amazing to have around. I think I had about 20 of them total when I had my baby. Um, so you can never have enough of those. That one's really cute. Um, unisex. So if you have a boy or girl, it doesn't matter. Um, some breast pads to get you started with. Um, whether or not you decide to breastfeed, these are great to have because your body is going through all those changes and will produce, um, 
no matter if you are going to breastfeed or not. So it's great to have, it has a little washable bag in there too, so you can throw this in the laundry um, and those won't get destroyed in your laundry machine. Okay, let's see what else is next here. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Um, so we have, these are pacifier from Itsy Ritzy. Um, and it has this cute little llama. Oh my gosh, that's like perfect for their brand, Lily and Llama um, Pacifier. These are actually the brand that I've used with my daughter and she loves them. She's still still on the pacifier stage, but um, uh, these are just excellent. Most babies take to these pretty easy. In fact, at my daughter's daycare, um, a lot of the kids have these. So um, that's a good brand to have on hand. Every mom needs some comfy socks. So we've got some socks in here, um, which is the cutest little feet on them. And the part that's really cool about these is that they have the sticky part on the bottom. So if you're getting in and out of bed, you don't have to worry about slipping and falling, which is actually a concern when you're in the hospital um, because you are a little bit weak, you know, could be lightheaded or, um, you know, just recovering. So great. Um, here we have a little onesie and it's a three months onesie and the reason for that is because not very many babies are going to fit into the infant size um, outfits. So in here um, they've included a three month. Um, it might be a little bit big on the baby but for most babies they're going to be in that one to three month stage when you bring them home anyways. Um, so this is good to have whether it be used in the hospital or at later you can never have enough onesies. Okay, and next here, let's see, I haven't opened this yet, so I just want to make sure that I'm pulling out the right thing here. Um, okay, I think this is, I might actually have to open this one. I'm not sure what is in this bag. I want to make sure, I'm telling you guys right, just go ahead and open it. what do we have here oh yes this is the swaddle so this is a really cool swaddle I will tell you we brought home my daughter and I had practiced swaddling before we um before we had her and I thought I was going to be a pro um swaddling a doll and swaddling a baby are two very different things so um these are really cool because they actually have Velcro on them and you put the little legs down here in the bottom, you wrap it around, you Velcro it, you're done. That's literally all you got to do. So, um, these are so amazing. Um, trust me, if you think you're just going to use a blanket to swaddle, um, you might want to think again, especially if you have a mover, like our baby was such a mover, like she never held still. Um, so you would put it on, you get a really good swaddle and then like, five minutes later no joke she would be moving around so much that it would be really really loose so um definitely love those types of swaddles where they velcro on um really helps keep everything together this next one this is actually a little mini bag and this has all of your toiletries that you're gonna need so let's see here if we open it up um oh my gosh like everything you could think of so you got moisturizing cream. I'm just going to pull these things out real quick. Um, anything that you might like forget, you know, it's bad enough when you go traveling and you forget something small. Um, but when you're at the hospital, like you need small size things, but there are just things that you're not going to think about. So earplugs, especially with all the noise and everything that's happening around you, you might want to toss those in. Um, those will come in handy. Uh, shower loofah, just a little mini one, right? So you have something on hand, um, but you don't necessarily have to bring your giant one from at home. Um, the things like toothpaste, um, facial wipes. Looks like we've got some lotion in here. Um, shaving cream, deodorant, shampoo, conditioner, a razor. Um, some of these things you may not use, but you'd be surprised like you're there. Um, and it might just make you more comfortable, right? To have some things there, toothbrush, um, even some like Q-tips in here. So everything that you might need 
when you're in the hospital that you don't want to go home or you don't have to send your um, spouse to go get um, or your mom or whoever is there with you in that moment. Um, and just some really good um, stuff to have on hand. Okay. And then last thing in here is a towel. I know it seems silly, right? You're going to the hospital. We're going to have towels. Those towels are not the best towels um, in terms of size-wise, um, softness, right? They're there as a necessity. They're not there for necessarily for comfort. So um, this is really great to have because it'll help you just be a little more relaxed. And then there is this um, long handle tote. So some people don't like to carry around the bag like this. Um, they want to use the big um, extending uh, handle. So that is included in there as well. Um, and this bag is a really decent size bag. So all of your other stuff that you might want to bring in terms of like, if you want to bring a robe or um, you want to bring a swimsuit. I actually wore a swimsuit because we did um, a bath before I delivered. Um, I didn't deliver in the bath, but um, it just for comfort wise. And so any of those things like that, um, that you might want to bring with you. There's plenty of room. Like I said, this is an amazing like weekender tote afterwards and it's super cute. I would take this anywhere with me. Um, what am I forgetting to tell you guys? Um, I just think this is such an amazing bag. It has so many things that, you know, if your husband or spouse or whomever is helping you prepare um, for that day of and they go oh great um I don't know what I'm doing I don't know where to get this you know this is the perfect thing to knock out a bunch of those things off the list um so you can customize what other things do I want to add that's just specific to your taste um and you'll be ready to go so take a lot of the stress off you guys um if you have any questions feel free to reach out but I uh, really hope you enjoyed seeing what was in the Lily and Mama bag and uh, we'll see you soon. Thanks. Bye.